out. This is Felicia. I'm currently at Kaki Bukit 511 Food Centre and Market. And it is 9.30 in the morning. I'm waiting for our special super duper late person, Hui. It's already 10.30 and he's not here yet. So, I've been looking at the store that we are going to eat. So let me tell you a bit more of the store. Lah. Today we are going to eat at a Malay store. It's called Lemak. And uh, we are going to try some of their light bites for breakfast. But I'm starting to realise that there's a lot of people at the store and they are all buying the things that I want already. Lah, huh? Yesterday was walking <laughs> late into the night. Okay, because he's working so we forgive him, okay? No longer look like Hong Kong actor anymore. Hey, not bad So we are going to try their laksa, roti kirai and gado gado. So I'm going to get the food and we'll see you when the food is ready. The mark is a hidden gem which I actually found online. So I also I must try it for myself lah, huh, before I introduce to everybody. It's like udon kind, oh my god. What kind of noodle is this? You just take a look. Like I was here since 9.30 and there is always a queue. Like Malay, Indian, Chinese, everyone. Like any race, they are just queuing. And they have a lot of kueh kueh also. So it's quite interesting, their range of um, like you know selections here. This is um, a laksa from Lama. Okay, unlike our normal traditional Chinese laksa, it is um, sort of a dry, will you say it's a dry version? Well, it's wet, it's just lesser sauce. It's a more, it's a gravy version. It's not the soup kind of version. Yeah. And they use a tikka noodle, see? It's like a tikka rice noodle, very similar to udon kind. Ooh! Mmm! Right? Mm, I like the texture. And... The gravy is very coconutty. Like, although it doesn't look like, it's not very sp spicy, but it has that very lemak taste, very rich and creamy taste. It's very unique like this one. I like the noodle. Sorry, I keep eating. I think there's oh, definitely, there's definitely other spices, but I don't know what spices they use there. Eh. They also don't want to tell me, it must be like some secret like that. Move on, move on, eat my hand. Hello, the whole bowl finish already. Next, the gado gado. Gado gado. So what does gado gado mean? Gado gado is more like a, if I'm not wrong, it's more like an Indonesian dish. And it has ketupat inside, it has tauhu, and then it has an array of vegetables. Lah. So down here got long beans, and then there's cabbage. So usually they blanch it, they only blanch it, and they pour a rich peanut sauce. Let me try the peanut sauce. Oh, very nice. It's on a sweeter side, so it's not very spicy. Oh yeah, it's the Indonesian salad. Right. Yep. Kerupu with the sauce. This is like a meal on its own, eh? Because there's like carbs, and then there is also vegetable, and there's protein from the egg also. So yeah. Okay, my put a lot of sauce, I think. Shook. Soft like what? Mmm, this is my kind of food eh. I really like this. You don't get that like little bits of peanut crunch. It's more like uh, really blended into a sauce. I just now got an uncle come. So he was looking at, he saw the food in our, on our table. Then he asked us what is that. Then I said laksa. He asked us what is this. Then I said uh, roti kirai. Then he said, oh, this I know, this I know, this I know, gado gado is very good. Then he went to go and buy. This one must use hand right. On the, they have a screen down there. Yeah. Then the screen says there's two ways to eat it. You either dip it or you soak the roti ki rice. Oh, yes, yes. That's what I do in secondary school. You pour the sauce and yeah, then yeah, soak it. Really it. like let it soak right. The yellow colouring is from the use of turmeric. So they put in turmeric just for the colour. But let me try how it tastes like without dipping the sauce, okay? Mm. There's not much of a taste. It's just there's no taste at all. A bit salty. I think they probably put in some salt in the crepe mixture. So it's just a little bit salty. Then beside it comes with a bowl of curry sauce. This is a chicken curry with chicken and a potato. Okay, so dip it in. 
pepper. It's more spicy than the curry. Okay, I think I know why I like this. It's like the holes in between let you absorb more sauce inside. So you can really taste that the whole curry will really soak up the crepe. The meat falls off the bone like with just a little scrape on it. Ooh! Oh, very soaked eh. Potato. Mmm! Boiled to perfection. Mmm! Mmm, it's quite unique leh. I, ne I really never tried this before eh. But, I feel that it's still best eaten with hands. I don't know why. Is it like a Xing Li Tuo Yong? I guess it was designed like, to eat that way. Right? And it's three dollars like that. Yeah. Together with this is three dollars. The gado gado is also three dollars. The laksa is also three dollars. Yeah, I love gado gado. Eh. I really love gado gado. Why? Like when I go Indonesian, like when I eat Indone at Indonesian stalls, right? I also will order gado gado. Somehow, like gado gado and tahu goreng feels like a less sinful way to eat peanut. Is it or is it just my, I'm getting delusional? Yeah, yeah delusional. Yeah, definitely delusional. Hey, look, it's so much vegetable. Eh. One last curry pot, then we move on to dessert, okay? Curry Oh, what? Did I just say curry pot? Yeah, you said curry pot. What the heck? Sorry, is curry sorry. Po? They actually got long tong. Their long tong very nice, right? But because of someone, it's so out. So if you all come here, right, you can try the long tong also. Because, like, when I was sitting here, everybody just buy long tong for breakfast. I don't know why. Okay, anyway, here they sell this dessert. This is a Malay dessert called. Kwe Jongkuk. Kwe Jongkuk. What is Kwe Jongkuk? Kim Actually, Jongkuk. It sounds like Kim Jongkuk. No, it's not from Running Man. It's not as hard oh, not, than I, not as soft. I think. Wait, oh, you thought it's hard? I thought it's cream. Mm. Oh, I think this is what you call lemak. The coconut milk is very... Um, it's not sweet at all. So the coconut milk is pure coconut milk. Very rich, nutty fragrance. You mix together, then you get a little bit of everything in your spoon. Get more of the pandan because the pandan really is very aromatic, very fragrant. Mm. This, this kind is the perfect bite. Like, sun chen. It looks like the, the kueh, the green colour, white colour, the half half. Yeah, it's actually, it actually tastes a bit like that kueh. But this is like just it? like the pudding version. See, there's more cue again. Can you just like pan the camera behind? Take a look. So um, besides like lighter bites like the nas uh, like the roti kirai and then the laksa and the gado gado, they also sell more hearty dishes that you can eat for lunch. Uh, nasi rawon, they sell different kind of nasi lemak, they sell nasi goreng, okay, and more of like the nasi padang style. Anyway, yeah. So if you want to you know um, come for breakfast, just a very good place to you know eat like have light bites. There's kueh kueh also. They got ipo ipo also, and they also sell different kind of koropo in those um, containers with the red cap. I personally recommend the gado gado, which I'm going to eat more. Okay, so hi. <laughs> tapau queen, she always tapau food one. No, this is not a tapau one. The machi just not very nice. She said now Chinese New Year period. I don't know this video when will be out, but she gave me some New Year goodies. So I think inside got two bottles of. The cornflake cookie Whoa. and one bottle of uh, chocolate chip cookie. So Sweet. apparently at Lemak, right, they also make their own, like you know, during festival la, mm. Chinese New Year la, Hari Raya, they'll make their own snacks to sell. So all is homemade one. Wow, shook, shook, I like that. And then the machi also give me beef to bring home. <laughs> the machi is very biased to her. She never give me anything eh. Machi, why you never give me anything, machi? <laughs> this laksa at Lemak. Yes. Yeah. Very thick, like you, there's a bite to the. To it's the like two noodles. or three thin, like two, two, two or three, or three times, times the normal the size. Original size, yeah. Yeah. So I think it's worth a try. It's, it's, worth it's a quite try. unique, I would say. Oh, yeah, I like when the laksa came on our table. We didn't, two of us didn't expect it to be like that. Also, we just thought it's like laksa. I like. thought it was asam laksa at first. No la. That's what I thought la. <laughs> uh, they are open till eight pm. Yes. So if you see the website, right, it's not until four o'clock. They open until eight o'clock. And after three, usually they have more of their like the rice. Uh, especially there's one I don't know why is it in Malay, but the it's the chicken leg with the green chili on top, mm. which the matcha tells is very nice. So the next time, maybe I'll go back and eat myself. Macho, macho one and this kind of thing go for macho. No, but then then later. 
The one, let's see again. <laughs> Actually, if you all have any like more exotic food or you know, Malay food, because usually we cover a lot of Chinese food, I realise that we seldom touch on the Malay food. Yeah. Yeah, do comment below and we will go and check it out ourselves also. Yes. Because right, I think it's very interesting to have a mix of different cuisines, yeah, you know. Right. And not only will it widen our own taste, the vocabulary of our taste buds, it will also open a realm to different kind of food culture also. Expose us to different yeah. kinds of food. So hey. yeah, great. So it if you have nice any meal. other recommendations, please comment. And we'll see you at the next vlog. Your face really look very big. That's why luckily I never hold the oh, camera. Hold for that. <laughs>